Well, how you doing? Mr. DJ here. There's a whole bunch of videos I want to cut tonight, so I'm going to try to keep these down to one take. I think one video I did last night is for my countdown, one of my fancy playlists, uh, 1989. I think I did like four or five takes on one video just trying to get it down. So I'm going to fly through this thing because there's so many Lost 45s to cover. For my 70s YouTube channel tonight, outsourcing Billboard's Hot 100, April 1972. Boy, some... Uh, some uh, vivid memories of the spring of 1972. Let me bring it up for you real quick. And, uh, <clears throat> well, I'll give you the top five hits. Heart of, Gro Heart of Gold, Neil Young at number five, down from two. Rock and Robin by Michael Jackson at number four. I got you. Uh-huh. Huh? Joe Tex at number three. Horse With No Name by America at number two. And the first time I ever saw your face. A song that originally came out back in 69, but became a hit in 72. Uh, Roberta Flack at number one. But let's go all the way down to number 63. Number 63. So that nitty-gritty soul. As uh, made, I believe it's, it's got that stacked sound to it. Hearsay by the Soul Children at number 63 on Billboard's Hot 100. I didn't give you the date, did I, on Billboard's Hot 100? April 15, 1972. Soul Children. Uh, assembled by Dale Porter, uh, David Porter rather, and Isaac Hayes over at Stax Records back in 1967-68. They were assembled by these two producers. They produced all those hit records by Sam and Dave, Hold On, I'm Coming, Soul Man, and I Thank You. And uh, But Sam and Dave, they left Stax in 1968. Uh, and they went to Atlantic. Because the partnership, I guess because the, the partnership between Stax and Atlantic had dissolved. And uh, these two guys, Isaac Hayes and David Porter, they formed uh, Soul Children. I believe it was two male and two females. It might have been three males and three females. But uh, either way, they had their first release in 1968 called Give Em Love. And uh, produced by... Uh, David Porter and, and Isaac Hayes, and uh, they had their first big hit in 1969. They had about three top ten R&B hits. The Sweeter He Is in 1969. They put out an album in 69, their debut album called Soul Children, backed up by the legendary Booker T and the MGs, the, the in-house musicians of Stax Records. They played on that album, featuring uh, Will Booker T, of course, and uh, guitarist Steve Cropper, legendary Steve Cropper, and the bass guitarist Donald Duck Dunn, among the legendary members of Booker T and the MGs. They played on that album. They released a version, Soul Children, slow version of Hold On, I'm Coming. But then uh, Isaac Hayes left. Uh, well, he just, uh, well, he left to pursue a solo career in 1970, and Soul Children, they released their, uh, well, they they made their second album. Their second album was called Best of Two Worlds, and they made it at the Muscle Show Sound Studios up in North Alabama, but no hits. Then uh, they made Genesis. Their third album was called Genesis in 1972. It was produced by Al, uh, Al Stewart, who was the co-founder of Stax Records, arranged by Dale Warren, and they had their... Uh, Second, R&B, top ten hit, Hearsay. And uh, it's at Billboard's Hot 163. It jumped, it jumped pretty, made a pretty good jump from 78 to 63. It peaked at number 44. It's just got that gospel, the soul. It's got the, a little bit of a hard edge. Uh, I don't mean that in a bad way by any means. Maybe a little edgier is what I'm trying to say. Not quite as smooth as, say, a Motown record. But that soul comes through glitters, gleams like a star, like a constellation of stars. Soul Children with Hearsay peaked at number 44. It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for 11 weeks. And it is at number 63. Billboard's Hot 100, April 12, 1972.